Hey everybody, Dave Johnson here again with Aggressive Fun. Today we're doing another What in the World is That? This is actually number two. And we are going after an item, uh, another that I picked up in a collection of stuff that this one, I truly don't know what it is. So there isn't going to be anything at the end of the video where I say, oh, this is what it is, because I have no clue. It says... It is It says that it is You can see the labels here. It says that it's a model RB-C220 and it has FCC ID numbers it contains. It doesn't it doesn't actually show Anywhere on the box, there's another. There's a part number barcode there. There's another one here. It doesn't actually have its own FCC ID number, and these numbers I'll show you again. These FCC ID numbers. Any of you who have checked uh, FCC ID numbers with FCC.gov, it's very nice, very handy that that site will then bring up information regarding that particular ID number. In this case, neither one of these came up. Don't know if I was just doing a bonehead search. I tried different things. I tried the three manufacturer numbers at the beginning and then the rest of the number and then I tried five. There's, there's uh, some variations that you can do on their site there. None of them pulled anything up. The other Detail is you've got two well four connectors two large ones that are multi-pin uh, One two three four five six so twelve and Two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen so a twelve pin connector and an eighteen pin connector and then these two uh, coax type Connectors that have the plastic latches with them and that's it so let's let's take it apart. My handy handy dandy Torx driver. <clears throat> it's only two screws that holds it all together. Okay. On the inside, I've got a battery right here, and it's a rechargeable type. It says 3.7 volts, 2600 milliamp hours. And it has a module here on top. This is a Tellet module. And it has an FCC ID number. If I can see it, it's very small. Typically, these, the Tellet modules like this, are associated with cell phone and I believe that that's what it is. Okay, it's a tell it MEID A100045939EB FCC ID RI7CC864-Dual and then uh, another little tag here says that it has Windows embedded or CE 6.0 core and another battery cell there on the back side the uh, the board doesn't have anything printed on it that would be helpful so we can go one step further okay there's an antenna on the end of the board here, and antenna one five three seven a five eight three nine one five three seven. Okay, underneath of this guy, we've got oh, there's a lot of a lot of relays. You can see the a little closer here <clears throat> you can see the relays 
there are six of them there. They are P6GN012WA and we've got microchip PIC 24F32. Is this the processor on this side? Um, there's a little teeny board. I don't know if you can see it right here. Not quite sure what that's for. Doesn't look like anything recognizable. MP2565DN is this other little part on this board. Looks like that might be a part of the power supply regulator. I don't recognize that number off the top of my head. This guy is a SEC 552B031 and the one next to it is a Freescale part MCI MX286C VM4B. So a Freescale processor, wind bond W971GG6KB25. And SMSC USB 251 4B1. So my educated guess would be that's a USB processor. There on this board there is an FCC ID. It's URZ WF10040. That's the number that's on the outside of the case. So that that this guy here. Oops, this guy here on the end of the board, that's the one that they've put the number on the outside of the case. This barcode on the end is a 1CCB14L60740. Don't see anything else on, the, on that particular board that would be helpful. There's, uh, in the silk screen, there's an ETON, E-T-O-N space ET856. Don't know if that's helpful. 2017-0298-5.2 Okay. And up here in this end by these are Big, big caps. They're all glued together in that position, so I won't try to bend them out of there. And very large. Has, uh, looks like starter. If I read that right. Oh. That might be starter, then there's an, a, an auxiliary AUX. sure about the other ones. Can't see them. They're covered up and glued in place so I can't pull those out. Okay. Um, let me zoom this back a little bit. Uh, I didn't show you real close the connectors. That's the connector arrangement that it's got. And there's two of them the second one it looks the same on the outside but it doesn't have the same labels stuck to it I assume they're identical uh, I cannot get those out whatever happened to magnetic okay Is it the same? It looks identical. Both of them have this SD uh, micro SD card right here. But there's a switch right next to it. And um, I guess there's enough room there you can slide an SD card in it. Neither one of them have a memory card plugged in. 
so that's basically it and okay challenge is I don't have enough info to figure out what it is and these part numbers I do a quick search on the internet doesn't show anything I didn't go into a lot of depth on where I got them from they were included in a large lot of electronic parts electronic modules all kinds of things that I I bought at an auction a while back and as I've gone through the different pieces that are in there these two showed up don't have any idea what they are so they become what in the world is that and I don't have a a prize affixed to this one as far as figuring out what it is if you give me information on what it is and you can nail it you know if you have a data sheet or you can send me to a website or that kind of thing we uh, we may do some kind of a prize on this I haven't really thought about that yet but send me your comments send me your questions and if you don't want to put something in the comment section on under the YouTube video feel free to sh click on the button that's there with the YouTube video and send me a, a private message that, that's fine too so there you go there you have it what in the world is that number two if you have any ideas uh, post it in the comments down below the the YouTube video and Hopefully somebody has some idea or some insights as to what, what in the world this thing is. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.